Oh, alrighty everybody, well, good afternoon, and well, I'm currently working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post right now, but I'm at a point in there where, um, I'm talking, I wanna, I wanna, um, I actually wanna explain how, uh, Kingdom Challenge, or Kingdom Challenge battles work in this game, but I just find it easier to just simply make a video about it and just talk it out, rather than have to sit here and, like, type down all these walls of text and stuff like that, so... Something like that. Something like this is better, uh, better said than read. So, but anyway, um, like usual, I got some, I'm gonna have some music running in the background. Um, this is gonna be uh, Golden Brown Gems and Minerals. I, I played this album before in various other videos. It's just, it's what I got going at the time. So, so let me go ahead and get that fired up. Okay, so let me clear out a couple windows here real quick. Save. Okay. Hey, somebody thought I was fun. Okay, so... Uh, I guess we can go. Alright, so... In each kingdom, you're gonna have an option to run, run challenges. Each kingdom's gonna have their own, and uh... What these are is these are just simply uh they're theme-based battles or battles with a specific theme as you can kind of tell mining explosions boring battle um, fireworks you know salamander goblin you know so you, you kind of get you kind of get an idea here isn't it? but and uh the challenges they uh, start at level five really low level, super low stats. Um, you can beat them with just about anything. You know, and then some of these um, other ones, as you, oh, and as you complete them, let me go back. Like, this is tier one, the lowest tier. You'll win, say, 50 souls for uh, completing them. And then, if you can complete all, yeah, if you can complete all seven of them, you'll get in this case here, 500 souls. But some, but um, higher tiers will say, "Oh, store mine here." This is tier three. No, oh, each one you win, get you a thousand gold. Complete the tier, and you get ten thousand gold. And then we're oh, we're a little tougher here, level 24. So. Stats are gonna be a little bit higher, but it pretty much runs the pretty much runs the full gamut. And then um, let's see here. And then this one here, I completed the I completed the challenge right here recently. They can go as high as level two hundred and six. So yeah, those are some tough monsters there, but um. But each kingdom is going to have um, seven, di seven different themes. Like here, it's Big Blue World, Zombie Shuffle, The Way of Shot, etc. So, and then another reason why you want to complete these challenges is um, the, each kingdom has a power level. Like, as you can tell here, this is Drac Zone. It's power level five. And in order to go to the next power level, you would have to complete seven tier two challenge battles, which I've already done. So, and then, for those that don't know, power levels, these are how much uh, how much income you're gonna get from each kingdom. You know, double tribute chance, plus 200 gold per day, you kind of get the idea. And then plus five, you'll get a plus, two, plus one to a to a kingdom skill like this place here I believe is let's go over here I believe it's attack so if I was able to get my power level like I said I'm already at power level five so I'm gonna get plus one to attack if I can get this power level to ten hey kind of confusing wording on this I don't know if this means 
I'm just gonna get an extra plus one, or if it's plus three, or, or an extra plus one for a total of plus two, or if it's, or if it's a definite plus two for a total of plus three. See, I'm a little confusing there, but you kind of get the idea, though. So, but yeah, it's it's what I it's what I've been doing recently. I've been kind of uh, got along got along on that by uh by DJ Screw. Um, one drawback that I found to these challenges is you can only do them once. So once you've fully completed a challenge, then that's it. So you know, so it. These aren't, these aren't repeatable, so it just, at least in my mind, it, it feels like um, I'd only want to do these for a very, for a very specific reason. Like, I needed to get something, I needed to get something that I can only get in challenge runs and nowhere else, that kind of thing, but, um, but, he just said, nah, just go ahead and do them. Yeah, pretty short video. Um, just want to do a quick explanation on that. But like I said, but, but like I said, they're just um, they started they start at tier one, and they'll go all the way up to tier ten. So, a grand, So if my math is right, a grand total of seventy battles. And again, another upside of these challenges too is uh, they're. You can uh, use a wide variety of different uh, different teams, because again, because the challenges start here from level five, totally weak, all the way up to level two hundred and ten. So, some knockdown, drag out, slobber knocking battle. So, so yeah. He's Short work of that. And that's and that's complete. I just completed a tier, so this is tier two, which you're gonna get glory. But like I said a few minutes ago, each tier is gonna give you different re different rewards. Tried this one here. A lot of enemies here in the wild plains. Maybe not this guy, but yeah, Gorgon. A lot of the enemies in the wild plains can knock your people around, really mess up your team. So yeah, I'm gonna dread doing this one. But anyway, I just want to do a quickie explanation on how the uh, Kingdom Challenges work, so back to the blog. But otherwise, thanks for uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time.